Uh, I'm Wendell Davis. I'm the creator of the Hive Wallet, uh, technologist and Bitcoin lover. Basically, I'm here because I have some concern about um, the direction that wallets are going. And actually, it's probably the direction of Bitcoin in general. Well, to be honest, I didn't really know what exactly was meant by a dark wallet. And I, I, in fact, I uh, had a lot of discussions with uh, Amir and others on the Bitcoin talk forums and other places, basically trying to find out what, it, what exactly it was meant. And in fact, I proposed that there be such a thing as a dark wallet certification, uh, which means uh, here, is a, here is like the specification of what it means to be a dark wallet. Um, to me, though, I guess it means, uh, you know, a lot of concern for user privacy by default. It means, uh, you know, being able to uh, have uh, excellent security without having to think about it too much. So this is uh, iPhone location services from the NSA presentation leaked by Edward Snowden. And there's tons of this stuff, right? But this is one of them. So this is the first. I think we're kind of entering into like a brave new world of, of uh, transparency without thinking very much about what that actually means and giving a lot of data away and information away about ourselves that we may not actually intend to give away. The thing about privacy is like if you use software that gives your privacy away, or you know, diminishes your privacy, you can't really go backwards. But if your software by default keeps your information private, you can always choose to reveal what you want. It's like, you know, it uh, can't be both ways. You know, truth be told, and it's, it's funny, I'm actually here because I heard a talk by Amir on a podcast called Plan B. And Amir, you know, was being asked some questions by the interviewers and he just kind of pushed them all aside and was like, listen, Bitcoin is about something much more radical than this. Like, let's just talk about it. Like, he's not afraid to discuss that kind of stuff. You know, I thought that, wow, this guy is very ballsy, like to him for to him to come out and say those kinds of things, you know, uh, where most people would feel in this, like, you know, world in which it's exposed that the NSA is listening to everything we say, that, you know, he would be more careful or whatever. Um, I, uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of with him on that. I mean, I think that on, on the one hand, you know, Bitcoin is this thing that will be in a transitory period for a while. Like, it'll be in a transition from something that is just kind of like, oh, well, this is a nice way to, you know, do e-commerce and move money around and things like that, to things so completely revolutionary that they, they literally could not be further removed from, like, the current ideas of government. Okay, so Hive is essentially a wallet that tries to focus on uh, essentially onboarding new users into this like new cryptocurrency world, right? So we're a Bitcoin wallet that is easy to use, that is, you know, cute looking and nice and this kind of stuff. I mean, the main point of it is actually just to be kind of non-intimidating for new people, right? So the idea is that you download Hive, it tells you how to get Bitcoins, it helps you do that. But it also shows you how to spend them to give you ideas about different things you can do with your Bitcoin. I in two years, it's very difficult to imagine, but uh, I hope that we have a lot of users, we're on a lot of platforms, and it is sort of seen as a really good default way to uh, you know, work with cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is the thing is like Bitcoin changes every single day. Cryptocurrency is like the most evolving field. I have ever seen. I mean, every day I'm learning like paradigm shifting stuff that like just completely changes my entire perspective on everything. So, have no idea. <laughs> but I, I think it'll be very awesome. That's all I can say. Yeah.